Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to do a problem on phase relationship and we're going to find the effective unit weight. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. So we're giving n, which is porosity, is equal to 0 0.27. Specific gravity is 2.11, and we need to find the effective unit weight uh, in pounds per cubic feet. Now notice, so if you guys notice the first two problems, so the first thing I do is I look at the term in the manual, and then once I do, then I try to uh, write that equation. That's the first thing I do. And then as you go, whatever it's given to you, let's say the specific gravity, or if it's given to me the porosity, then I might use the equation for the porosity. So this is a really good way of solving these type of problems. So for instance, here I have effective unit weight. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the equation for the effective unit weight. So it's right here, effective or submerged. It, it means the same thing. Unit weight is equal to the saturated unit weight minus the unit weight of water. So let's write that down. So I have uh, saturated minus the unit weight of the water. Okay, good. So now I don't have the unit weight of the, the saturated unit weight, but I do have unit weight of water, like we said earlier, it's just going to be well, we're using pounds per cubic feet, so we can't use the nine point, the 9,810. Instead, we're going to use the 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. So we got to keep the units consistent or we're going to get the wrong answer. Okay, now the only term I need to find is the saturated unit weight. So what do I have? Um, what equation can help me determine this? So I believe there is an equation for, yeah, for the saturated unit weight. So let's write that down. Let's write the saturated unit weight is equal to specific of gravity plus the void ratio. Multiply that by the unit water divided by 1 plus E. Okay, so I do have specific of gravity. I do have the unit weight of water right? But what I don't have is E. I don't have E. But I do have N. And we do know that N and E, there's a relationship between the two. It's, it's given here. N is equal to E over 1 plus E. So let's write that down. I have N is equal to 1, oh sorry, E over 1 plus E. So if we rearrange this equation, we can easily find out figure out E. Once you, we figure out E, then you can plug it in here, find your saturated unit weight. Once you find the saturated unit weight, then you can plug it in back here, and then you can just find the effective unit weight. So let's start solving for the, uh, let's rearrange this equation. So I have N times 1 plus E is equal to E. So let's factor in. So I have N plus n times 1 is n, then I have plus n times e, which is n e, this is equals to e. Now I have n is equal to e, and then I'm going to take that to the other side, minus n times e. So uh, let's take e out, so I have e is equal to 1 minus n. Then finally I have e is equal to n divided by 1 minus n. So n is equal to 0 0.27, divide that by 1 minus 0 0.27, you should get an answer of 0.37. So once you find the e, you can, we're going to back here and plug it in, now I have 2.11 plus 0.37, divide that by 1 plus 0.37, which is 1.37, times the unit weight of water, which is 62.4, pounds per cubic feet. This should be times, sorry. So 
Here, notice I have no unit because specific gravity has no use unitless and same thing for the void ratio. So if you do, if you calculate this, you should get an answer of 158.5 pounds per cubic feet because it's just this unit that you have. Now I can go back to this equation and I have the saturated weight, which is 158.5 pounds per cubic feet minus 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. And if you do this subtraction, you should get 96 pounds per cubic feet. And that should be your final answer. Okay guys, so don't forget to do the problems with me as you go because the best way to learn something is by doing it. And don't forget, problem a day keeps the F away. And if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. A la prochaine.